Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Paul and I want to show you how you can make a logo for your small business, for your side hustle, whatever the case may be, right? I'm going to be using Creative Cloud Express, which is a mobile app, right? We can see it right here. Download it. It's free. Log in so you can save your stuff, but also in the browser. And I'm going to use the browser just because it's going to be easier for us to see. Just go to express.adobe.com and then click this big plus sign. All this stuff that you can create, we want to go with logo. Click on logo, right? Guess what? This blank canvas, if you will, or document can be pretty intimidating. Sure enough, we have all these templates off to the side that you could start with. Badges, uh, restaurants, fashion and beauty, whatever the case may be. I've been doing real estate, other sort of food pantry ideas, but today I'm working on a bakery. So I could type in bakery like so. And then so basically search on what you want. Uh, find any one of these templates that you're just going to use as a starting point, right? And uh, yeah, I kind of like how elegant this font is and this text down here. So that's what I'll start with. I'll go off to the side, we'll change that text. This is for Cupcake Queen. There we go. Bakery, because we want them to know that it's more than just cupcakes. So you're gonna change what you want. Uh, maybe take elements, ungroup them, delete what you don't need, move things around any way that you want. But I wanna go beyond this, uh, this cupcake, right? I'm gonna see if there's other things out there. Sure enough, there are. Photos, icons, design assets. I'm gonna go into icons, right? So jump in there, search for a cup, cake. Uh, I want something elegant and iconic, right? We want things to be bold and just be able to stand out when it comes to logos. So I'm gonna go with this one with a lovely little cherry on top. And also I'm gonna grab something else. I'm gonna search for a crown. We need a nice crown like this. I like the curve to it. Uh, and here we have two elements that are very similar because they're graphic, they're not outlined. They have the same simplistic style that personally I'm going for, which always works well for a logo, right? And we'll just put this crown on top of this cherry like so. Not crazy about that one, let's get rid of it. Oh, look at this, you got some a, a stacking issue, if you will, right? Not a big deal, because off to the side you got, right over here, all these layers, we could move that down like so. Maybe move the crown just because, and now you can see this is obviously on top. So this is a good place to start, right? I like this. Um, when you're creating the logo, you actually want it to be black and white. We don't want the, inf the color to influence this design at all. So we'll change the background to just white. We'll change the text to black. We're just kind of deducing this down to its like most basic appearance. And this is gonna be probably the most use, use case in this case is just sort of a black and white piece. So we'll just kind of go with a medium gray. So that's kind of what we want. Uh, we can work on sizing. So we don't want graphics to fight. So sometimes the graphics, they could overwhelm the, the text and we want them to be able to read the text first and then notice the supporting elements. So have a primary focus and then secondary through the design. Uh, but we're still playing around like, I like this old standard TT italic, that's good. What if I just want to experiment? I'm sure you're gonna want to, I get stumped a lot. Just hit find new style right down here. Find new style, find new ideas seeing what will work as I click find new style. There's a bunch of different ways that we can sort of work on this particular design. And I've decided that like, I like this text. I like the cursive sort of script text that this is giving me. So I want it to be a little thicker than what I had, but not so much like a marker, right? So we're getting into specifics here and let's go into all of our fonts. So I encourage you click on more fonts. If you get it kind of dialed in what you want, there's calligraphic, there's also cursive. This feels more cursive to me and I want more calligraphic. So right in here, we can say, try this adorn for instance. Al fresco seems to work, right? Uh, not crazy about that cue, I like this. Um, still has like a sort of a woodcut look to it. Uh, but we're learning what we like and kind of what we don't. So let's go with Alana Smooth Regular. There we go. Similar style, no rough edges. Notice how that bakery is gonna fit right in there like so. And pretty much this is my starting point for my logo done in less than five minutes. And guess what? What I wanna do next, so stay tuned for next time because I wanna take this logo and I wanna turn it into a whole brand that can be applied everywhere. We're talking fonts, colors, all sorts of things. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe of course as well and like, follow me on social media. Thanks so much everybody, we'll see ya.